Hi everybody, my name is Jessica and this is my channel Plant Hooker. Now, I'm posting this ahead of time and the next few videos that you're going to watch are all going to be posted ahead of time because I go back to work soon, quite soon, yeah. And if it's going to be anything like last year, I'm not going to see anybody till for a month. <laughs> so today, I brought out my itty bitty rice cactus, or coral cactus, or mistletoe cactus, or Ripsalis ceruscula. Isn't she pretty? Now I've owned this plant since I think August of last year. I had purchased it from the local flower shop, La Terriere. L'Atelier Brio. Oh, I found a dead leaf. Oops. And uh, I've had it ever since. And it's been a dandy little plant. Uh, I had to repot it because it was in a three inch and it had roots coming out the bottom. And I don't see. What is that? Oh, that's part of the pot. Classic bit didn't quite let go. No roots coming out now, so she's doing good. But she had the roots coming out of the bottom, so I had to put her from a three inch to a four. And this is just <clears throat> a plain cover pot. You can get these at Sobeys. And uh, she's done dandy ever since. Now, Again, cactus, so they are part of the Cactaceae family and is a jungle cactus, not a desert cactus. And these guys are native to the tropical rainforests of Uruguay and Brazil. It is also an epiphytic and lithophytic cactus, which means epiphytic means it grows on other plants and lithophyte means it grows on rocks. Now, I water this guy every 16 days. Seems to be his schedule that he likes for him. Hey, Angus. Hey, don't chew your paw. He had hurt his paw uh, last week and I keep catching him chewing on it. I tell him not to. <laughs> He's all like, I got caught. So, where was I? Yes, so I water this guy every 16 days. He's quite a low demand. Like, if you're using a moisture reader, you'll only want to water him when he's at a level two. Uh, and when it comes to fertilizer, I'm only fertilizing him once a month. And you can only use the succulent fertilizer. That's the kind he likes. That's what I've seen when I research what fertilizers to use on him. I use the Schultz Cactus and Succulent Fertilizer. He seems to do well with that. You can try the other types, but that's just what I use. Now, even though he's a jungle cactus, because I know there's some jungle cactuses that enjoy being misted, do not mist him. He doesn't like to be misted, period. Because my fishbone cactus loves to be misted. This guy, no, he does not like to be misted at all. Uh, don't need to clean him. I know like he'll get hairs on him because Cat But uh, if you do feel the need to clean him, you can either just pick through him with your fingers or Get a paintbrush or a makeup brush. One thing I've been thinking about is those little air cans that people use for cleaning out their keyboards and their computer. I've often wondered if those would work on plants like this because there's times where I'll be like brushing him and then to make it move to so I can't help but think that perhaps maybe it would help maybe something to try in the future now even though they're a cactus they're actually a like not quite low light cactus they're more like a, uh, 
a part sun, part shade cactus. So the best windows to put these guys in are east and west. Him, however, specifically, like I've, I've seen on like YouTube, like people say east and west. And I've tried him in east, he did not like east. Because the tips of his leaves kind of burned a little bit. So what, I moved him to a west facing window and he mu liked it much, much better. Much better. And he was way happier in a west facing window. Ideal temperatures for these guys are between 10 and 24 degrees Celsius. They have been known to survive in temperatures as low as zero degrees Celsius. And here on Cape Breton, he can only go outside between June and September. Because to this hardiness zone that the, these guys like best is 9A, 9 and above. And because I'm in a 5A, 5B, it, he can only go outside between June and September. July and August all the time, June and September would be like the nicer days when it's above 10 degrees at night. Now when it comes to soil, when I first got him, I think he was in all purpose, and then I put him in uh, my, my like aeroid mix, that's a mixture of all purpose perlite and orchid bark, or it's just, it's just all purpose with extra drainage. And he really liked that soil. It seems to do fine with it, like, you can't really see, well, that's, I think that's earthworm castings there. Can't really tell. Oh, another, maybe he doesn't like it anymore. Oh my god, I'm finding more dead leaves. Can't really see. Yeah, it seems to have turned all black. Well, I had put some earthworm castings in this guy the, uh, the other day just to, you know, give him something good to eat. <laughs> but the best soils for these guys is the, Bur the, 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 the bromeliad blend, like the ephatitic soil. And really, these guys only need to be up potted every three years. Yeah every three years that's which is normal for plants that are lithophytic and epiphytic because my jungle cactus I haven't had a pot him since a couple of years my Thanksgiving cactus I had to downsize him because I think Raymond had overwatered him and like all a lot of the stems had rotted away and then my false Christmas cactus, which is the same as the Thanksgiving cactus, only the Thanksgiving is pink and the false is red flowers. Uh, that one's in a nine inch pot and I don't think that thing has ever been up potted, ever. So, yeah. Doesn't seem to mind cold drafts, because when I first got him and I tried him in a south facing window, was that window there. And it is a drafting window. He didn't seem to mind it. And any research that I found on them, they don't seem to mind drafts. So take that what you wish. And uh, the best thing about the Ripsalis and all Ripsalis cactuses is they are non-toxic to cats. See? Gwen doesn't even want to chew on him, hmm? It's not toxic enough for me, mommy. Yeah, because she still tries to get to other things, including this guy. He still has to be sprayed with stuff, so she won't eat him. Uh, now when it comes to pests, yes. I have not dealt with any pest on this guy whatsoever. He's been an angel. He's been perfect. 
but they can be played with spider mites, scale, and mealy bugs. I don't know about thrisp. I couldn't really find anything, so I'm not 100% sure. But I've also heard that thrisp didn't attack Optisfolias. They do. Echeverias, they do. So it's. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, after saying this the next day, I find a thrisp on him. Just because. Uh, now, some of the most common problems with these guys are, of course, like burning tips, and that's from sunburn. Another one is uh, brown spots. And that's that's an overwatering, and when you see brown spots, that's like the first level of your overwatering, and that those are fungal infections. Yeah. And then another common issue would be black spots, and that is also another issue of overwatering, and that would be like the next level up. And where, that's where it's the roots are starting to rot and the leaves are getting waterlogged. So it's like in uh, edema. Yeah. And that's when you'll start seeing the bl black spots. Once the leaves start to yellow and fall off, then that's the third level and that's pretty well near impossible to get your plant to come back from that according to the internet hi ziva ah uh, would i recommend this plant to first time plant owners Yes, absolutely. This thing has been super chill, super easy. I, I can't say anything bad about this plant. And the best thing about this guy is he can handle the wood stove no problem. He is not, I have only two plants in my house that can handle the wood stove and not be bothered by them. And that's this guy and my fishbone cactus and that's only because he gets sprayed every two days but he still loves the heat that comes off of that thing and it's a big wood stove we call it big bertha <laughs> a kaiju stove <laughs> yeah but no like it's great if you forget to water it it's very forgiving if you overwater it and you can catch it on the first level of just where it's just starting at those brown spots it can be forgiving as well yeah i've got no qualms about this rice cactus he is perfect yeah. so if you have any questions shoot me a message if you like the video you can give me a thumbs up if you didn't like the video you can always give me a thumbs down everybody has a right to their opinion but if you really like the video, subscribe. And as always, live long and plant on.